So yen pairs are really interesting because of the change from the Bank of Japan, you're getting lots of mixed signals, but generally they're talking about a change um, to their negative rates. They've had them for ages. It's not in line with most places in the world, pretty much. Um, so for that reason, I'm looking at the long-term sentiment to the downside. I've already shorted it various times already, and I will continue to short it in line with this, basically. Um, it's, it's forming its tentative downwards look. But if you look at lots of the rhetoric from the Bank of Japan, you can see clearly that they're starting to change their minds. And that is why the negative bias is feeding in across the board. That's why every touch on this trend line uh, or within this downtrend, if you like, in line with all this price action is bringing you lower. And there's light resistance here. So I'm happy to start scaling in, but generally as we go through 2024, I prefer it down. Okay, I think ultimately you'll get down here and you'll get a big push to the downside at some point. You would just need intervention or big changes or something like that, and it will come that way. But even from a technical perspective, that would be expected, even if you weren't looking at the fundamentals, because if you go on something like your monthly, you've already come up an extraordinary way since COVID, for example. It's already overdone. It's already too high. It's like the um, futures and index markets. They're overdone. They're too high. That's why your stock oscillator is up here. And that's why I say not to buy. Because again, historically, if you bought highs, you're just going to get slammed many times. And that's a big mistake traders make. They just get ruined constantly for that reason. So anything up here really for me is short bias. And it's technical and fundamental, which is great if you've got both um, very clearly outlined. Kajen is the same. Uh, dollar yen. I'm exactly the same on the dollar yen, and it helps as well to keep in line with US sentiment. Okay, uh, if you're if you're finding that it's likely you will get US rates um, dropping, people don't want their dollars anymore. Okay, you had a mix, like I said, you had a mixed tone, some of it optimistic, some of it slightly pessimistic from Powell. But I think overall the consensus is that they're going to um, look at easing when they can. And obviously, because the Bank of Japan has got negative rates, it's it's very different. So it gives you a good bit of breathing space. But you can see very, very light pushes up because there isn't really strength in this yen, particularly. I mean, that's why your last push led to a fall there. Um, and now you're getting a re-push right now, which could be helpful because you can also see um, areas of minor resistance there. So any pop up really, again, I'm short biased. I like the dollar yen short now and throughout 2024, given the sentiment continues. And like I said, even from a tech bias, my answer is the same, okay, on a technical basis. Now, interestingly, the Swiss uh, franc against the Japanese yen is the same. You've got this technical bias. You haven't got a complete change from the Swiss uh, bank or the Bank of Japan that sets out line right. We're definitely going to do X, Y, and Z. But they're both hinting on it, which is why you're moving sideways and why nothing has happened for a relative amount of time. But again, my bias remains to the short side in line with my risk plans. I'm aware that it could beat this high and I know how to deal with it if it does. And that will stop me losing money. And no, I'm not using stop losses, believe it or not. Um, but that's the uniqueness of how I do things. Nonetheless, I'm studying the technical aspects of the market. I'm studying the fundamental sentiment aspects of the market too and making an overall judgment for a long-term probable bias um, in line with the natural market flow and the laws of natural uh, market flow, okay? The way things work just by nature. And that's something I've learned from looking at charts for 10 years, um, as has my co-founder and mentor. So I think that just about does it today. If you do want to join our trading room, we're live every day teaching people. We've got hundreds of hours, probably thousands of hours of video content for you to learn and a private community in chat room. You can come and have all of it today. Lots of people are coming on board and joining us every month. Uh, if you want the free training, if you're new to trading as well, that will help. Um, there's a couple of good things in there that will change your mind about a lot of things, I would say. And of course, our Discord, if you want to pop in there. It's there to be used. I can't see any questions at this point. Please do press the like. I'm sure that will refresh at the end. 
on the left or the top right. And if you follow me on Trading View, that'd be great. Um, but I'll give a sec for questions. I can't particularly see anything at the moment. Um, but just to round off, I'm short yen pairs with all of this is with key risk plans, key probability price action plans that I employ to day trade myself. Short indexes, I'm short gold, I'm short yens, um, and the US dollar, uh, you can see over here, if I get the Dixie up, it took a big hit before. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if near term you pop up slightly. So just be careful with your dollar yen, for example. I might give the dollar yen a little bit of breathing space till I short.